हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बेसिक्स ई लर्निंग इन लेसन नंबर टू वीडियो ऑफ जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस रीजन ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ रीजन ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस व्हाट इज जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड इट्स डेफिनेशन आई हैव गिवन इन द लेसन नंबर वन वीडियो अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म्स द लिंक ऑफ विच आई एम गोइंग टू लीव इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज गो थ्रू region of convergence is defined as the set of z values over which the summation converges or it is nothing but the annular region of the entire complex z plane so let us see consider one signal x of en remember z transform is applied only on the discrete time signal not on the continuous time signal suppose if you apply z transform on this x of n that is x of z represented as x of z and it is defined as n is running from minus infinity to infinity x of n z bar minus n means the signal x of n is extending from somewhere from minus infinity to plus infinity means it has the limits or it has the range minus infinity to plus infinity so every time there is no need that it has to extend from minus infinity to plus infinity so the signal has every signal has its own limits suppose say the signal is extending from minus 10 to plus 10 then the formula changes like this so the lower limit goes to minus 10 and plus 10 suppose it is from 0 to some 50 right then it changes from 0 to 50 so these are nothing but the upper and lower limits of the signal that you are taking so any signal x of n has their boundaries that is defined by the lower limit and upper limit now this x of n i have transformed to frequency domain right so then i am calling that as x of z so the limits of this signal in time domain we are calling it as x, uh, lower limit and upper limit now when the signal is transformed to frequency domain the upper and lower limits of this x of z here we are calling it as region of convergence understood so here one more term is there annular region right so annular region is nothing but the region between two concentric circles so these two concentric circles they have their own radius r1 r2 suppose say, right so this radius r1 and r2 are defined by the lower limit and upper limit of the signal in time domain so there is an analogy here the lower and upper limits of your x of n in time domain are nothing but the the radius that is nothing but the region of convergence is defined that is defined as the region of convergence in your z domain so now i think it is very much clear what is the region of convergence and how it is defined so in simple words the upper and lower limits in time domain are nothing but the region of convergence in z domain properties of roc the roc cannot contain any poles that is the first property as i said roc is nothing but the annular region means that is defined by the two concentric circles so these two concentric circles they have their own radius r1 and r2 these radius are defined by x of n the upper and lower limits of your x of n so this radius r1 and r2 here are defined by the poles of your x of n so that means on the circumference of the circle only you will have the poles so within this region there will be no pole so no pole exists in roc so that is your first property coming to the second property if x of n is a finite causal sequence then roc is the entire z plane except at z is equal to 0 so finite causal sequence
sequence so finite means the limit is finite that is not infinity minus infinity to infinity but it has fixed limit now what do you mean by causal causal means the signal exists only for n greater than or equal to 0 so finite causal sequence finite means it has the limit that is from 0 to means the lower limit is now bounded to 0 so that's why we are calling it as finite and then causal sequence so the signal exists from 0 to infinity so the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is infinity now coming to the z transform here the lower limit of one that means one circle of radius 0 and the other circle you have to draw with infinity so one circle has 0 radius that means at z is equal to 0 only and other circle somewhere at z is equal to infinity so that is also we cannot draw so that's why the region of convergence is defined as entire z plane as this region of convergence is the annular region between those two circles no so one is at somewhere at infinity one is at z is equal to zero so in between these two means what not at z is equal to zero definitely so one pole is at z is equal to zero so the region of convergence is entire z plane except at z is equal to zero so as infinity is nothing but that it is not defined so that's why they are defining it as region of convergence as entire z plane except at z is equal to 0 coming to the third property if x of n is a finite non causal sequence then the roc is the entire z plane except at z is equal to infinity means this non causal sequence is nothing but the exact opposite of your causal sequence causal signal exists for n greater than or equal to 0 whereas non causal signal exists for n less than 0 so if n is less than 0 means your it's a left sided sequence right so left sided sequence so the the final end is minus infinity so minus 1 to minus infinity anywhere the signal may exist so that is uh, the two circles will be drawn on the entire z plane so the roc will be entire z plane except at z is equal to minus infinity because the upper limit here it is defined minus infinity so minus infinity or plus infinity that is same right so entire z plane except at z is equal to infinity for this left sided sequence coming to the fourth property if x of n is a finite double sided sequence then roc is the entire z plane except at z is equal to 0 and z is equal to infinity so double sided sequence means combination of both that is finite causal sequence and finite non causal sequence means the signal is extended now from minus infinity to 0 and then to infinity anywhere right so that is it has only two poles only two poles one is at z is equal to 0 and one is at z is equal to infinity so except at z is equal to 0 except at z is equal to infinity the remaining full is entire z plane is your roc so you can remember these three properties like this finite causal sequence it is nothing but the right sided sequence right hand side sequence then the roc is defined as entire z plane except at z is equal to 0 you can take it as mod z greater than 0 similarly left hand side sequence entire z plane except at z is equal to infinity so you can take it as mod z less than infinity coming to double sided sequence it's a combination of causal and non-causal so this region of convergence is mod z is between 0 to infinity entire z plane except at 0 to infinity that's why i'm not writing equal sign here right so there is no equal sign here remember so this is the properties of roc for a finite duration sequences 
coming to properties of region of convergence for infinite length sequences. Again here infinite length sequences are divided into three categories. Causal infinite length sequence, non-causal infinite length sequence and double sided sequence. So what do you mean by causal? The signal has to exist only for n greater than 0. So the signal exists only here. So the lower limit is maybe anything after 0, right? That is only on the positive side. Upper limit not defined here because this is infinite length sequence. So lower limit can be anything after 0. So that let it be R max. So R max or R is the largest magnitude of any pole of your X of Z. So from that point to anything that means infinity till the end right. So the Z plane the ROC converges for mod Z greater than R max means from that R max you have to draw a circle with this radius of R max from there the entire Z plane will be your ROC for this causal infinite length sequence. Coming to non-causal infinite length sequence. So this is left hand side sequence means minus infinity till minus infinity your z plane is extended but the lower limit is less than 0 that can be anything any number so that they are taking it as r minimum for reference. So your z plane on the z plane first try to draw a circle with r minimum radius then this will be like this. So the uh, ROC will be mod Z less than R minimum. Coming to double sided sequence combination of these two right. So the annular region between R1 and R2 will be the ROC for the double sided sequence that is property number 7. So coming to property number 8 ROC of an LTA system contains the unit circle in Z plane. LTA means linear time invariant. So, if a system satisfies both the properties of linearity and time invariance, then in the Z plane, you will have only one unit circle. So, that means your X of Z has pole of radius 1. The last property is the ROC must be a connected region. See here, it's a circle, right? The boundaries of ROC are circle. So, you know circle is always a connected region. So, ROC is always a connected region. So, this is the last property of your region of convergence. Here, I try tabulating the important sequences and then their ROCs. So, let us see. The first signal is finite causal sequence. Causal signal exists only for n greater than n0 means x of n is equal to 0 for all the values n less than n0 where n0 may be any positive or negative number. So but it has to be a finite right. So if n greater than uh, 0 the resulting sequence x of n we call it as a causal sequence or a positive time sequence. So for a causal finite sequence ROC is the entire Z plane except it Z is equal to 0. So that can be written as mod Z greater than 0. Next is finite non-causal sequence. So non-causal signal is defined as X of N is equal to 0 for N greater than N0. Where N0 is maybe positive or negative but it has to be a finite. So, if n is less than or equal to 0, then the resultant signal that is x of n, we call it as an anti-causal signal or non-causal signal. So, this is also known as left-sided sequence. So, for such type of signals, the finite sequence, right? So, non-causal finite sequence, then ROC is the entire Z plane except it Z is equal to infinity. So, this can be written as mod z less than infinity. Coming to finite double sided sequence, a signal that has finite duration in both left hand side and right hand side 
that type of signal we call it as finite double sided sequence so the signal exists for both the sides then if you convert if you transform the signal into z transform the roc will be the entire z plane except at z is equal to 0 and z is equal to infinity this is nothing but the combination of first and second cases so the roc can be defined as 0 less than mod z less than infinity for infinite causal sequence the roc is defined as mod z greater than r max so here as the signal is infinite the roc is the entire z plane after this r max then infinite non causal sequence as the signal is infinite you have only one limit that is r minimum so below that the entire z plane comes to roc coming to infinite double sided sequence it is nothing but the summation of both positive and negative side sequences that is infinite causal and non causal so their roc will be r1 less than mod z less than r2 so this is all about a clear explanation to what is the region of convergence and what are the properties and also i tried explaining the ROC, how it is defined for different types of sequences here. For more videos, please do like, share, subscribe to our channel. Let us know your suggestions and queries in the comment box. Thank you.